Hi, this is Dara. Welcome back. This is the fourth, or this is now the fifth video in my stream talking about how I set up my like life workflow in Notion. Um, if you haven't seen this from the beginning, please go back to the beginning. You've missed a lot. Um, in this particular video, I'm going to talk about setting up my calendar. Boom. So let's go ahead and create my calendar page. Again, this one I'm just going to create as a, um, a table but not in line. Actually, I could just say, let's just set it up as a calendar. I can, so far I've been showing you my databases as tables. A database is a calendar, is a gallery. You're gonna see those different things come in, but I'm gonna go ahead and, and create the, um, the calendar starting as a calendar. So, <clears throat> before we get started, just to know, like, Notion is not a replacement for my calendar. I don't think it'll get to that point. Um, so here's the here's the thing it would need to be related to my personal calendar. It would need to sync with, um, with Google Calendar. So I'll, I keep all of my schedule in Google. It's shared with my family. Um, I really need that. I have, you know, uh, the ability to, as I get email, uh, create an invitation or create a calendar event right directly from my email. So I need that functionality to be there. So unless until Notion can sync with Google Calendar, it's not going to replace my personal calendar. As far as my work calendar, we have so many different security issues around our instance. We use, um, you know, uh, Microsoft Office's Outlook so an exchange so we have so many security issues that they don't actually let us link to other tools and so that's going to stay um in that space but i that doesn't worry me like i've always had this kind of page where i kept track of um stuff that was kind of yeah it's on my calendar but it's kind of higher level stuff that i want to show up on my day view so remember like here i'm going to be putting a mini calendar and so what I think of as things that belong in this calendar are things like yearly events, uh, birthdays, anniversaries, um, holidays, especially holidays where I'm not at work. But the other kind of thing that I do is appointments that are interruptive to my normal work day. I'm, I'm a person who's very compartmentalized. So when I'm at work, I focus on work, even though I'm remote and in my home, I'm still very focused on work and not thinking about you know, other things like doctor's appointments or, you know, you know, what have you. Um, and also if I have to go into the office, that's something I, I can forget easily. It's like, oh yeah, I said I was going to drive into the office this day. So I like to put on the calendar, like I said, those events that, that are interruptive to my normal work day. So there's an appointment in the middle of the day, I'm driving into the office, or um, I'm going to have a vacation that day, either because it's my vacation or it's a holiday. So I like to track those things. A calendar view is just an endless stream, right? It usually starts with the current month, but you can use um, this toggle to get you back through to see other, other months, right? It just brings them to the top. And of course, if you click today, it gets you back to the current month. Um, I'm actually going to do March as my example because I want to show an event that I went to. So I went to South by Southwest. So I'm going to add the item. Now, remember, a calendar is a database. It is a table. And a table contains records that are pages. So, boom, where it's the same system over and over again, just a different view. So I went to South by Southwest. And um, oops, I'm going to put an end date. So remember, I, I mentioned in the last thing that I could put end dates. It's here. Um, I could put reminders if I wanted to. All right, so that's going to be it for the date. And then this one, I'm going to put out of the office. But I'm going to do this two ways because I want to show you why I do it the way I do it. So I'm going to do this one um, as a checkbox. And I'm going to do this one as a select field where I then have out of the office. All right, so I was away. I'm going to put an icon. Uh, let's do cityscape. 
<laughs> my dog's dreaming in the background. He's barking in his sleep. Hopefully these are pleasant dreams he's having. Maybe he sees a bird or a cat or something. Maybe he's playing. All right, so you can see here now it spans across the view. And then while we were at South by Southwest, we had daylight saving time happen. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so now here's, here's what I wanted to show you about that out of office. So right now I'm just viewing the title. Um, I'm going to click on properties and it allows me to say what properties to show. So I could show the date. I can show out of office. Now what I want you to notice is that this check mark, it shows up regardless of whether it's checked or not, where um, the drop down, oh wait, did I not show? Oh, I didn't say that I was out of office. Oh. oh, I did one of those other things where I click off instead of entering, okay. So here the drop down, it, it takes space, but it doesn't clog the interface. So I prefer using a select field over a checkbox when I'm just showing that, you know, it is a binary. I'm either at work or I'm not. Um, so let's, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm not, I don't, I don't need to show the dates because it's on the calendar. So I'm going to hide the dates. I'm going to come back in here and I'm just going to delete the checkbox property. All right, and that's a much cleaner look right there. Um, and just so you know, like this is a view of a table. So just to show you, I can, I can see this in table view. So let's create. And then boom, look, it's just like what we've been looking at all this time, right? So a calendar is a table and the records in a calendar or records in a table are a page. So I can actually have my whole trip plan living in here, right? All right. Um, and let's go back to calendar view. And I'm going to, and if you look under calendars, remember how things are pages? Views are like, kind of like pages. They're not exactly the same, but they're like mini, mini pages under a page, right? But this is, this is the bottom. You can't have a view under a view. All right. So let's go back to March just so we see all those dates. What's happening in April? So let's do um, we had All Fools Day, right? Um, Easter, those of you who celebrate. Um, so the 30th, so my father and my grandfather's birthday is on the 30th of April. And it's hilarious because my grandfather once said that if the first is all fool's day, then the 30th is damn fool's day. And the two of them are damn fools. So he calls them that. And that has been now a family holiday in our family. Um, while my grandfather was still alive, um, they used to make sure they got together on their birthdays. And, and I should say my father, my grandfather is not my father's father, but my mother's father, the, the grandfather I'm talking about. But they, you know, kindred spirits born on the same day. So they made sure that they, as, as much as they possibly could, would spend Damn Fool's Day together. So it became this a, definitely a family holiday because we're all gathered around the two of them. So now that he's passed on, we're still obviously celebrating. My dad's still around, so it's still Damn, damn Fool's Day. Um, but when we see that on the calendar, we know what that means. All right, so that is my view for... Um, my calendar. Um, and I said setting up the calendar was a pretty simple thing. Let's go ahead and put that calendar here. So I actually want my calendar, my goals, monthly goals to go side by side. So let's move that over. I'm going to create the calendar down here, just make it fast and then move it up there. So what I'm doing now is they call it a linked database. So the same way that this page is a link to a page, then I'm linking to a database, right? But the difference between linking to a page and linking to the database is I can actually see um, aspects of the database. So I'm gonna link, I'm calling the calendar, and then here's that calendar, um, and it's giving me the table view. I can add a view, I can add a calendar view, but that's gonna be pretty heavy on this page. I don't wanna take up all that space. 
I actually just want the list view. I'm going to call it list. Okay. And then I do want it to sort by the date. All right. And then I also, because remember, this is this month, so I don't want this event from March to show up. I don't want the whole year coming in here. I just want this month. So I'm going to add the filter. And there isn't really a good filter for this month. Like they don't have that option. They have um, like a month ago or a month from now, but they don't have this month, which is bizarre. So what I try to put in is say like um, the start date is on or before um, exact date and then I'll put in the first. So I'm going to come back and change this when I do my monthly planning to make sure I get it. Or actually I think you can do a month ago. Nope, because see that's going to pull up March. So I want to do, if I could do a month from now, nope, see, because it's taking by calendar date. So I'm in, the, I'm in April, the middle of April, and it's saying, let's go back. And this gets caught because it's still technically, it's not the same month, it's the same days. So yeah, that's why that's kind of weird. So this is something where I am going to manually come in and, and, and change every month, but it really isn't that big a deal. So when I say the day, day is, and date is honor. Oh, you know what it is? Oh, oh, I see. Back up, back up, back up. Let me redo that filter. Uh, date is honor after a month ago. That slicks it to April. See? Yeah. Sorry, had it all wrong. And I think that's, I was like, I thought I got to work before where I didn't have to manually change it. That's it. I have to say on or after a month ago. And then where'd my filter go? And then I don't want it to keep going because obviously I'm going to go in and, and do this for the year. So I'm going to say, um, and here date is on or before a month from now. And that will isolate it to just the current calendar month. All right, so now that I have that, let's pull that here to the mini calendar. And I don't actually need this text anymore. Oops, I just got rid of the column. Sorry about that. Ah. Undo, undo. Okay. I'm going to give this a little bit more space here. Now, one thing that's a little annoying is that because you have the the widget to control the module, it does take up a little space. So it's not even. And the designer in me really kind of finds that irritating, but you know, it's okay. We can live with that. All right. So that You've seen now our, how my home page is going to start coming together. I've got my calendar in here and we can go back to LifeFlow and we're going to mark calendar as complete. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how I do, um, you know, I think I'm going to change this around. I think I'm going to do the notebook before I do the journal. Do I want to do that? Yeah. Let's do the notebook first because I think that's just the way I want to do it. All right, so that's it for this video, and I hope you're having fun. I mean, I'm really nerding out. This is getting uh, really cool, and when I get to that journal, you'll see, like, I'm going to do all kinds of crazy, insane stuff with that. But, of course, I've just delayed that a video. So we're going to do the notebook in the next video, and then we're going to come back and do the journal after that. So stay tuned. More to come.